Hi. The purpose of this video is to show you how to check if your IR remote commander and receiver for Mecca is working properly. To be able to perform the IR remote test, you need to connect the receiver to the AUX port of the C1 or C2 controller used. Then power on Mecca as usual by long pressing the power button. The next step is to start the test by deactivating the usual functions of the commander buttons. Let's see how this should be done for each of the controllers. If you are using a C1 controller, enter the code 3231. Make sure you have entered it correctly. Mecha shows the entered codes on its LEDs. Then use the left arrow button to confirm. This deactivates the functions of the commander buttons, and, an important detail, it automatically enables the Use Nodal Ninja IR Remote option. With older firmware versions, you need to enable this option manually, either on the config page, after connecting to Mecca's Wi Fi network, or using the code 3232. In fact, this code allows you to switch between the enabled and disabled state. The LED under the power button of the C1 controller keeps blinking during the test. With the commander button functions deactivated, Mecha no longer executes remote control commands. Instead, when you press a commander button, Mecha beeps and shows on its LEDs the code of the pressed button after the button is released. Each button has its own code. If the LEDs of C1 controller show the code of the pressed button, it means that the button is working properly. The code corresponding to the one button is 33, so the LEDs should show 33. Continue with the two button or any of the buttons. The code corresponding to the 2 button is 32. The 3 button. 31. Minus button. 29. Pause button. 28. When pressing the pause button, there is only one beep, with a slight delay which is normal. Plus button. 27. Left arrow button. 26. Right arrow button. 24. Up arrow button. 23. Down arrow button, 3-0. Center button, 2-5. Menu button, 2-2. Two two. Power button, 2-1. The code is also displayed over the battery symbol on the user interface. This helps you perform the test with the commander at a greater distance from the receiver. All of the buttons must pass the test in order for the test to be considered successful. To end the test, you need to press the power button on the controller. If you are using a C2 controller, to deactivate the functions of the commander buttons, access the config menu and navigate to the IR remote test option. Then press the center button. This also enables the use NNIR option. With older firmware versions, you need to enable this option manually in the config menu 
before starting the test. Now press the commander buttons, one by one, and see if the code of the pressed button is displayed on the OLED. The one button, 3-3. Three, three. The two button, 3-2. Three, the three button, 3-1. Three, Minus button, 2-9. Pause button, 2-8. Plus button, 2-7. Left arrow button, 2-6. Right arrow button, 2-4. Up arrow button, 2-3. Down arrow button, 3-0. Center button, 2-5. Menu button, 2-2. Power button, 2-1. End the test by pressing the power button on the controller. If none of your commander buttons are working, but its red light at the top is flashing when a button is pressed, then end the test by pressing the power button on the controller and make sure the receiver is properly connected to the AUX port of the controller, then perform the test again. Now you should see a red light flashing on the receiver as well, when a button is pressed on the commander. Also, if none of your commander buttons are working, and there is no red light at the top when a button is pressed, then it could be a battery issue. End the test by pressing the power button on the controller and try replacing the batteries of the commander with new ones. Then perform the IR remote test again to see if the problem is fixed. You can also launch the live view of your camera, or use a phone, and frame the tip of the commander. When pressing a button on the commander, you should see, another, big LED flashing, besides the red one you can see with the naked eye. Please note that the codes of the buttons on the early commander models may be different from the current ones, this does not affect the operation of the system. Thank you for watching.